Hi, this is Melanie from Hook to the Left, and today we're gonna take a look at what's the difference between this hook and this hook. So let's go ahead and get started. Hi, thank you so much for joining me today. If you're a fan of things like crochet, yarn hauls, uh, reviews that have to do with crochet type things, and, and tuto crochet tutorials, then go ahead and go down below, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell while you're down there so you're reminded of each video that I put out. So today we're gonna take a look at what is the difference or which hook is better between the Edimo Tulip Hook and the Clover Armor Hook. So both of these hooks are relatively in the same price range. The Edimo Hook is a little bit more expensive versus the Clover Hook. Now, when you buy the Clover Hooks, you do get them in a set of 10 hooks and they are all different colors. Now I am showing this, this is in my Be Crafty um, little case here. Now this is a great case that I got from Be Crafty and it came with its own set of ergonomic hooks, but I replaced those ergonomic hooks with my, my clover hooks. Uh, and uh, if you like this case, uh, it does have some great ergonomic hooks, uh, not as good as the clover hooks, but if you're just starting out, it's a great thing to buy. I'll link my, um, my review up above and then I'll also link down to the this particular case with the uh, ergonomic hooks down below if you're interested but we're not here to talk about the case so much we want to know about these hooks now these hooks are your um, different colors so this one's the five millimeter this green one is the five and a half millimeter this is the four and a half five or excuse me Actually, I put the six there, <laughs> it's a little out of order. And then on down to the smaller ones. Now, um, you do get 10 total hooks when you buy a set of the Clover Armor hooks. You can also buy the hooks separately. Now, these hooks usually run basic size, so not in the larger sizes. The larger sizes usually run a little bit above, uh, right around $10, sometimes a little bit more. Um, but the, these sizes usually run somewhere between six and eight dollars each and the set usually runs between 30 and 50 dollars. Um, usually you can get it at about 35 dollars. I will link the set down below um, in case you're interested and now well, let's take a look at what you get when you get a set of of tulip hooks. So it, right now it's missing the five and a half millimeter which is this hook right here. It does come with uh, a pair of scissors. There was some, and I don't have it in this case right now, but there was some um, darning needles, some metal darning needles, and silver metal darning needles. And then this right here is, if you can see the shadow, is just uh, a short measuring, more for gauge than it is to actually measure, measure anything. It does come with a pair of silver scissors here, and they look a lot like embroidery scissors with a sharp end. And then also, it comes with these hooks now these are the basic size hooks so they run from um three excuse me 3.25 millimeter through to six millimeter and then you get eight total hooks in this set this set on amazon will cost you a little bit over 50 dollars i will link that down below if you're interested so that's that's what you get with and how much oh individually uh, the hooks individually for the Edimo tulip hooks, they are they run about somewhere between eight to ten dollars each. So now let's talk about is one better over the other? I mean, you would think this one's a little bit better because it does cost a little bit more than these. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about them and how I felt that they worked out for me. Now, um, first things first, I'm going to take a show you the two swatches that I made. They're just real small swatches. Um, it's I did half double crochet. This one was created by the clover hook, and then this one was created by the Edimo tulip hook. The tulip. I'll just call it tulip. The tulip hook. As you can see, there's no major difference between the two. This one, I think my gauge got a little bit bigger, and it could be because I made this one second. So there's no, I think, really any significant difference between the two swatches as far as size or gauge. Um, so here, take a look. The one on top is the uh, clover and the one on the bottom is the tulip. 
So no, no huge difference. What the yarn that I use to make these, these swatches is, is the Premier Candy Shop yarn. So um, just to let you know how things worked out with these. And this yarn can be a little bit splitty. Um, so how did it work out? I didn't have any problems with it splitting. Um, I will tell you that if the yarn ran much smoother with the clover hook and it does have that brushed aluminum on the uh, the shaft part of the hook it is that brushed aluminum it feels like butter that's what i say it's so soft um so uh, i found that it did move the yarn did move across it a lot better which it can be a drawback to some people but for me i really liked how it moved back and forth across the hook both of the hooks are a tapered head. Neither one of these are an inline. It is a tapered head, which is the boy style hook, not a Susan Bates. So if that type of hook head is what appeals best to you, then I would suggest that you go ahead and go with um, either one actually. <laughs> it works, either one will work great for you. Uh, as I, I, so I'm gonna go back to the differences between the two. As I was moving through and working on the swatch, and I've actually worked with both of these for an extended period of time um, since I got them back in last summer. Um, I would work with one for a while and work with the other for a while. Uh, when I was working with them on an individual basis and not one right after the other, I did not feel the difference of the drag on the shaft of the hook. I did feel it when I would feel that this was much better or much smoother than this when I used them one right after the other. But again, it's not discernible if you're not using them one right after the other. Um, I will tell you on my clover hooks, and I do have a couple of the clover hooks. If I was using it a lot, um, then I found that the this ergonomic piece here, I would feel, start to feel a clicking. And it's only on one of them, I have two hooks, so it could just be a flaw with the one hook that I have, but I would start to feel kind of a clicking if I was using it a lot. So, just a heads up on that. I did not run into that with this. Um, doesn't mean that it may not happen because it was my older hook that I was using. So, uh, just a heads up on that. Now, if you take a look at the difference between the ergonomic, you'll see that there is a wide flat part on both of them. On the clover hook, it's a little bit wider. And then if you take a look here, you'll see that the, this gets thinner here and then you have that little bump. Now, I am not a pencil grip. Uh, when I crochet, I am a knife grip. What does that mean? That means that I hold my hook this way instead of this way. So if you find that if you are a pencil grip, I understand that having that little nub there makes this a much easier hook to use as opposed to this type of uh, ergonomic. Now, the one thing on the tulip hook that I did not like is the fact that this hook has a sticker with the hook information, whereas this hook it is imprinted on the hook. So um, that, is, that is, I think, a drawback from this. I think with excessive use, this sticker will start to fade and wear off. Whereas the engraved information, will, that will be less likely to happen. And it's not a sticker and then engraved on the other side. Now the brand is engraved on this side. As you can, I don't know if you can see that. Get the lighting there. So the, the brand is engraved on that side, but not the hook size. So that is a drawback from the tulip. Um, so what is my verdict between the two? Which one, do I like one better over the other? Honestly, if I reach out and I grab either one of these, I'll be just as happy. I do like them both. Um, I honestly am still though, I'm partial to the clover. One, because of uh, the price point, these are a little bit less expensive than the tulip. And while you don't get this nice case to go with the set, you get two more hooks in the set. And I'd rather have two more hooks and buy a different type of case um, for a little bit less money than I would uh, just getting the hooks with the cloth case. Um, 
Also, I do like the fact that this has the imprinted side as opposed to the, the imprint, the size imprinted on the hook as opposed to the sticker. So I do appreciate that much more. But other than that, any differences between the two is negligible. So I say go with what you feel best. If you, if you like the look of the tulip better and you're okay with spending a little bit more money, if you like the different colors in the clover, go with that. Um, if, if you do like things that run a lot smoother um, as you're going through the crochet, then maybe you want to go with the clover. This has a little bit more drag, but it's still nothing compared to other hooks that are on the market, so it's still much better. Um, so go ahead and make your decision. Um, so as far as that, what I recommend, I would say, um, me personally, I would go with the clover hooks where you get two more hooks. Um, with your purchase price and it's it's usually going to be about $15 cheaper than your set of eight hooks with the case So that's that's my preference between the two I do I think that clover is the winner over tulip unless uh, of course you're a pencil grip if you're a pencil grip then maybe you want to consider the tulips as opposed to the um, the clover and also buy your favorite hook size one in each and test them out for yourself and see what works best for you I'm going to go ahead and link the five and a half millimeter down below so that you know the difference between, uh, so that you can go and check those out and maybe purchase just the one hook for yourself. If you like these kind of videos, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell so that you're, you're reminded each time that I come out with a new video. Also, if you have enjoyed this content, then don't hesitate to hit that like button. I really appreciate it. Uh, and finally, don't forget, every Saturday at 11 a.m., you can find me here on this channel live, and uh, it's just a little get to know get to know you better with some questions that I ask, some icebreaker type questions that I ask, and we all get to know each, each other in the community a lot better. And then Friday nights, uh, I get together with my girls, the Yarn Hookers, and we uh, do a themed show every Friday night at 5 p.m we rotate whose channel it's on so make sure that you follow us all so that you never miss an episode between us between the three of us all right so again thank you so much for joining me today i really appreciate each and every one of you you guys have an amazing day bye bye